Hi friends and welcome to Makers at Home. Uh, this video is for teens ages 12 to 18. Um, even though you are teens, please get permission from uh, your parent or guardian uh, at home before you use the stove uh, as uh, that's what you need to do for this uh, experiment. We are going to be growing our own crystals uh, in the form of sugar, sugar crystals, um, to make rock candy. If you've ever been to a fancy candy store and ever wondered how they make that rock candy that's on sticks, um, this is how it happens. Uh, what you will need for this experiment is three cups of sugar and a little extra to put in a plate to roll your sticks in. You don't need much, maybe a, a tablespoon. Um, so three cups of sugar and one cup of warm water. And you will need these sticks. I'm using lollipop sticks that you can get from uh, the Walmart bakery uh, or decorating uh, section. Or you can use wooden skewers or you can use a uh, cotton string and the string works the same as this except for how you connect it um, at the end and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so you will also need a pan to put your one cup of water in and a utensil to stir once you start the cooking process. Step one, take your stick and you're gonna wet it and the reason you wet it is so that the sugar that you're gonna roll it in will stick. So you're gonna roll your stick uh, just about two inches up the stick. Roll it in the sugar and tap to loosen uh, what's left there. And you're gonna set it aside. And so just lay it across your plate and you will come back to that. And then, you are going to go to the stove. I have put one cup of warm water in here. So grab your one cup of water and three cups of sugar and meet me over at the stove. Okay. I went ahead and turned my uh, uh, stove top on high, my burner on high, just to get it to a boil. And then you're going to turn it down just a bit so that you're not working over a boiling hot stove. You will want to add your sugar one cup at a time. So uh, measure out the cup, you know, roundabouts, and put it in and stir. And you'll want to stir until it is completely dissolved. Once it is dissolved and you no longer see the sugar, add your next cup. And do the same. You are going to stir until it is dissolved. Depending on how high you have your heat on, uh, it may take a while. But be patient, because this is the most important part, is getting the sugar completely uh, dissolved. You don't want any lumps left, because you want nice, clear crystals once they form. And if you notice it's not, it's just not melting, you can turn your burner up just a tad, which is what I did. And then add your last cup. And again, stir until it is completely dissolved. And you just don't want to see any more lumps in there. If you do, just press them up against the sides. Maybe turn your heat up just a bit, just to, that last cup is the hardest. 
All right. So once you have all of your sugar absorbed in there, you're going to let it set. Uh, not until completely cool, but until it's cool enough to work with. You don't want it scalding hot when you're working with it. So set that aside, set your timer for 20 minutes, and come back. I'll see you then. Okay, now that the uh, liquid has, uh, the sugar mixture has dissolved and cooled down, we are going to go to uh, the next step. And that is to uh, set up your crystal in your glass uh, container. Glass, because you are uh, using slightly warm to hot liquid um, uh, for this, so you don't want to put it in plastic where it would melt. And also, um, it doesn't have to be, uh, a mason jar is great, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just using my regular drinking cups. As long as it's tall and somewhat narrow. And you'll need, um, preferably, a um, clothespin, because they work great. I didn't have a clothespin, I had bag chips, uh, or clip, <laughs> chips, um, uh, clips here uh, that you use to close a chip bag with. Um, they are not as great as a um, clothespin because they don't have that little hole in the middle, which is great to slide the stick down. And I'll show you how that's used in just a moment. First of all, you want to choose a color for your candy. You can do clear if you want with no color because that looks pretty awesome. Or you can choose food coloring uh, in your favorite color. I'm gonna try red, a couple of drops, um, just in the bottom of my uh, cup. And I'll choose a different color for the other one. And this way, you're coloring it um, in two different containers. If I, I could have put my color in the uh, pan when I was cooking it, however, I would have only had one color. So this way, I get two colors. Uh, so then, you just take your syrup that you made on the stove and pour it into the two um, glasses. Now, you want to uh, evenly pour it, so half in one side, half in the other. I'm gonna have a little more in the blue, so I'm gonna even that out. And again. Up. And then you'll just want to take a spoon or uh, your wooden spoon or a metal spoon is fine and just uh, stir it there just to make sure that your color is all mixed in. And then you're going to take your sticks, remember that you um, rolled in the sugar. That plants the seeds, so to speak. Um, it, it allows the um, sugar mixture something to start sticking to. So you, uh, you start growing your crystals with this step, and then you're gonna put it in your cup. The main object of this is don't let the stick hit the bottom or the sides of the cup. That's where the clip comes in. Preferably right down the middle. If you had a clothes pen, you would find the hole in the middle and just open it and clip it into the hole and let it set. This one does not work that way because it doesn't have a hole, so I'm gonna have to use two just to hold it on there enough to get it so it's not touching anything. And I wanna do that to the other one as well. Again, the object is don't let it touch the sides. Right. So, that's not perfect, but uh, I'll fix that in a minute. So, once you have them sitting in your glass, not touching the bottom, and it's barely, but it's not touching the side either, <laughs> then you want to let it sit. Um, how long? Well, that's the bad news. A long time. Three to five days. Um, I have seen some really big rock candy grown, very thick rock candy grown, but it has taken up to two weeks. Uh, so you'll want to set this somewhere where um, it's uh, not it's not going to be uh, in the heat. You want it in regular room temperature, and you may want to get a plastic um, saran wrap or or a towel or something to throw over the top so that you don't get dirt, dust, and that sort of thing in it while it's sitting. And then you just wait. 
join me back here in three to five days and let's see what we have. See you then. Hi friends and welcome back. It has been uh, six days since we uh, cre started creating our rock candy. So let's reveal what we have. Let me um, let you know that when you are letting your rock candy grow, make sure you let family members in the house know uh, what you are doing, <laughs> just in case they might accidentally throw one away. Um, I did lose my pink one, but we, we managed to salvage the blue one. So um, yeah, that's you have to let it set a while, and sometimes people may not understand what, what's going on. So make sure you let them know. Um, so you wanna, um, three to five days is the best uh, time to let it set. I have heard people letting it set up to two weeks. It is harder to get out of the jar if you let it set that long, but you do have a bigger piece of rock candy if you can get it out whole. Um, so you will just uh, remove your protective covering, get a butter knife, don't get a sharp knife, you'll break the glass. Um, unclip it and just tap around the rock candy like so, um, as you can see that I'm doing here with the butter knife just to um, loosen it from, uh, because the crystals grow in the cup as well, not just on the stick and don't get your butter knife too close to the stick because then you'll remove all the rock candy uh, from your stick. You want to um, go widely around it and then, and if it doesn't come loose um, very easily, you can set your cup down in a uh, pan of hot water and just let it set a few minutes. That will, uh, again, liquefy um, the syrup. So let's see. Okay. All right, we did get some crystals to form. Doesn't look perfect, um, but there you go. Uh, we have successfully grown some rock crystals uh, using water and sugar and uh, heating up uh, the sugar uh, changes its, um, its property. And uh, then once you let it set, it changes its property again and it hardens forming these crystals. Uh, again, it's, it's a hit or miss science. Um, sometimes it comes out perfect, sometimes um, not so perfect, but uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Makers at Home for Teens. Uh, remember, if you do this or any experiments that, requ that uh, require the use of a stove or heat or that sort of thing, make sure you check with an adult. I'll see you next time here on Makers at Home. Have a great rest of your day. Mmm, good.